sign law applications this is a second communication question and it's kind of interesting so we use sign law and we sometimes think that well when it is a right triangle then we don't you have to use sign law we should go to the basic trigonometric ratios because the right triangle right well it makes sense but here we'll try to prove sign law in a right triangle itself like I find that very interesting and so I'm sharing that with you let's consider this to be our right triangle right let's say this is our right triangle here and that is 90 degrees right so lines may not be that straight but when you put 90 degrees you know this is this is right angle triangle right let's label this let's say this is the vertex a and here we have b and c and obviously that means this side is b this side is c and that is side a correct now the idea here is to show you that this triangle the basic trigonometric ratios is actually a sine law how is it okay so let's say what is sine a for us so from here we can say sine a sine a is opposite over hypotenuse right so it is a over b right so it is a over b correct sine of a we are trying to figure out this angle so that is the opposite side and that's the hypotenuse sine a is a over b perfect now what is sine c equals to now let's look from that side so we say so it's sine c sine c is equals to opposite over hypotenuse so opposite is small c so c over b good job so we know sine a and b from a right triangle not a big deal like we knew it right uh, but the important thing here is see how we can relate b from both the cases we have b in both the cases of course hypotenuse when we are talking about sine it is opposite over hypotenuse so we'll get the side b which is hypotenuse here so from here we say b is equals to a over sine a so we say b is equals to a over sine a okay how about this b this b is equals to we'll cross multiply c over sine c now these two b's are same right that means a over sine a equals to c over sine a and that is like uh, sine law correct the only thing missing here is b itself right <laughs> that's that's critical so we'll write at least the two parts which we have got and that is a over sine a is equal to i'll leave the space for b i'll leave more space for b okay is equals to c over sine c and b and both are equal to b's that means both are equals to b so how about that denominator uh, sine b here sine b well sine b is 90 degrees and uh, do you know what is sine of 90 degrees equals to sine of 90 degrees is 1 perfect so i can always write this as 1 b is equals to b over 1 correct and 1 is sine 90 and 90 is b for me the angle b in a right triangle so i can write this as b over instead of 1 i am writing sine 90 and since my b is 90 why not b right so let me write this as sine of b now do you see that sine law right there before your eyes a over sine a equals to b over sine b equals to c over sine c that is how it is so so in the right triangle it's much simpler for us to do things since one of the angle is 90 degrees and that gives us one and the constant which i was talking about is that b the constant so this is equals to constant right so whenever we're trying to solve a sine application we are always actually looking for that constant because then it becomes easier it's just cross multiply constant times sine of that angle you give that side you you know that's how simple it is and fortunately for us in a right triangle that constant is b the hypotenuse itself that's why you'll find solving right triangles much simpler right but that's giving you another perspective of sine law and i hope that helps to understand thanks let's move forward and do some word problems thank you